All right, it's a rather warm day here in Taichung. Um, a couple months ago, I took some video of my bike, and I just kind of felt like going and bringing things a little up to speed, talking a little bit about uh, what I've been doing. So I'm back in the park. Uh, it's actually the other side of the street. You can see right over there. A little white thing that's where the bike was sitting before um, I decided to get a little more ballsy and park a little closer into where everything else is okay so a lot has been done here um, lots of subtle stuff lots of stuff that I think people probably wouldn't necessarily notice um, but I do definitely notice it when I'm when I'm riding it um, so we'll start from the front we'll move to the rear uh, one thing you can see is that the wheels match, they're both black. Changed out the front caliper, it's a dual caliper, it's red. Changed the disc, the disc is red. I chopped my levers down so they're a little bit uh, smaller, easier to grip, and uh, just looks a little bit better. Paint that I got done on it is chipping off a little bit, but this is Taiwan. So that's, that's pretty much an explanation for 90% of the things with this bike. Um, changed out the whatever upper chamber of the, of the reservoir and also the, the piston and actuator inside of this. Um, signals were different when I had it last time, so the signals haven't changed. Um, I've gone and replaced the actuator um, cylinder for pumping onto the brakes in the rear. Um, it had just died out and it wasn't giving any more pressure. I've changed this lower pedal because uh, originally it was up here and because my legs are so long, um, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't feeling real good. Um, I was constantly having my, my right foot really tensed up um, and I didn't really like that, so I, I moved it, adjusted it, got it re-welded and repainted, moved it down a little bit, so it's uh, it's not so painful. Um, redid, let me see if I can get the light right on there. So redid the, the coil in the middle. This was because somebody went and stole this bolt out of here, um, and the entire thing just collapsed on me one day. Uh, and I've got a video about that, where they were going and uh, doing that. Replaced the rear caliper, the dual caliper in the back. It's probably a little bit more than is actually necessary, but I don't really give a shit. Um, the cost difference between a dual and a single was basically the same, so. Seats, got them repadded. The seat is not exactly as I would like it. I would like it to be a little bit more crotch rockety, but it's not bad. Um, I don't mind riding a naked bike like this a little more upright than I do tucked in, and I can still get tucked in. The tail is all solid, so that makes for, for having a seat done um, to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Still need to get something done with this rear light. Somebody basically cracked into the back of my bike at some point, I have no idea when, and they, uh, they really did a number on that so now my brake light only works on the left side but my running lights work on both sides so it's not the end of the world but whatever added a Decepticon sticker to the tank um, you can't see it but basically I was riding one day my my upper cylinder had failed and so I wound up pressing into the brakes my feet were off the rear brake because I was going only about maybe two, three, four, five miles an hour, and uh, essentially hit the front brake thinking it would stop me. The front brake didn't actuate at all, and uh, I wound up slamming my entire body forward into my gas tank, and my belt punched a hole in the paint. So the transformer sticker is actually there to, to uh, cover that up a little bit. Um, I don't usually tell anybody that. So I don't know why I'm telling you guys that, because it was actually one of the more embarrassing moments. Um, oh yeah, one other thing that I forgot to mention. Um, the seals were blown on the forks, so I replaced those. Uh, actually, we took the forks off completely, uh, scrubbed them down, put, I don't, there's no new springs in it, but new fluid, new seals, new all of that. Um, 
The only big points on this bike at this stage that I really want to get done is the headlight, which I still cannot stand. Uh, I don't like the chrome, I don't like the size, I especially don't like that. That drives me up the goddamned wall. Um, riding and having hearing something echoing through that canister going brruh, brruh, brruh. oh god it just absolutely drives me insane the other is the the tail light um, cost to this point um, interesting question uh, I would say the bike itself ran me 24,000 NT to buy it off of my friend um, the Repair work on it at this point has probably got me up pretty close to 40,000. Um, but mechanically, it's extremely sound. It's got really great. Oh, yeah, of course. The rear tire got replaced as well. So, I mean, a rear tire costing you, you know, 2,500. The fork adjustments and replacements costing me 4,000. The problem with the center spring cost me 3,500. Um, and then little nitpicky shit here and there. Actually, the forks and the discs together cost me four thousand. Um, as well as actually, we redid the the ball bearings up in the. I don't know if it's rack and pinion or what you call that. Basically, the ball bearings were loose, so we had to readjust that because it was kind of giving a little too hard um, when it would be breaking and stopping, and that's no good. So there's been a lot done to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but essentially, it's. Uh, it's performing rather nicely, especially considering the guy that gave it to me hadn't ridden it in three to five years. It just been sitting around, so there's a lot of. I mean, anybody who who knows machines will tell you that there's there's a lot of random. Ah, crap! If only they had ridden it, you know, I wouldn't have necessarily had to replace all the brakes, or I wouldn't have necessarily had to do blah blah blah, whatever. But uh, it's okay. I like a project. Um, I'll probably spend another maybe five thousand NT into it before it's all said and done and I'm happy with it. Um, that would be before I go and bust out another paint job on it. That's gonna be in the way future. But what I'm thinking is black on the base forks here, yellow fender, yellow tank, yellow tail, black framework, black on the engine if I can, uh, re-black the exhaust. And I don't know if I'll do yellow or black for the swing arm, I haven't decided yet, but that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, get it kind of doing a bumblebee thing. I've seen tangerine orange on it. I like it well enough, but I think I would like black and yellow even better. Really make it that that bumblebee thing. And of course, the irony of having the Decepticon sticker, though of course when I get it painted, I, uh, I always have that removed anyway. But yep, that is basically that. Uh, so that's, I don't know how long it's been since I did the last video, but this is basically three or four months after that original video. So that's what's been done to it. And uh, that about does it.